How y'all doing today? Shalom. God bless y'all. Um, coming here, speak with y'all today, give y'all some information. Uh, We're going to do um, the sin of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, I'm going to do all 12, but first we're going to do Reuben, all right? And uh, before we start, we're going to get into uh, generational curses, okay? I'll show you that we got something in our blood, everything from what uh, Adam and Eve did to all of our forefathers. You know, we got things that uh, we need to look at and understand. So I'm going to go into the Testament of Reuben. Okay. So y'all can know and understand what's going to befall Reuben. And Reuben, which are the Seminole Indians, can understand their sin, which can breed, uh, I want to say, be brought up again. Okay. Okay. We want to be aware of it so we won't do that again. Okay. Those of Reuben. We all have to repent. We all have to keep the commandments of the Most High. Um, and it's very important that we get into this lesson today. So first off, let me see what I'm going to get into right here. First off, we're going to um, look at our own sin, okay? Because the Father does what the Son, I mean the Son does what the Father uh, does. And the daughter does what the mother does, okay? So it's important that we look and understand and get some clarity, some understanding, so we won't commit the same sins and abominations, and that we can praise the Most High, lift Him up, and exalt Him the way He ought to, because we love Him and we trust Him, okay? We got to have our faith and his son, Yahweh Shai. We have to praise Ahia, the Most High God, the Ancient of Days. And we ultimately know that we get the victory, but it's important that we go over this information. So first, we're going to look at our own sins. Right? So we're going to Deuteronomy 24.16. I'm going to use the Tynesdale Bible right now, okay, because he goes clear and cut, okay, so we're going to uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 16, Deuteronomy 24 and 16, all right. Deuteronomy 24, 16, it says, Fathers shall not be put to death for the sins of their sons, nor the sons for the sins of their fathers. Every man worthy of death shall be executed of his own crime. All right, your own sins. Okay. So now we're going to go into uh, Jeremiah 31, 29. All right. Let's get Jeremiah. Thirty-one twenty-nine. Follow me here. Thirty-one twenty-nine. All right. Thirty-one twenty-nine. Twenty-nine reads: The people shall no longer quote this proverb. Children pay for their father's sins. It says: For everyone shall die for his own sins. The person eating sour grapes is the one whose teeth are set on edge. Okay? Alright. Now we're gonna go to Job 2119. Okay. So Job 2119. Job 2119. 
says, well, you say at least God will punish their children, but I say that God should punish the man who sins, not his children. It says, let him feel the penalty himself. All right. So let's go to Lamentations 5, 7. I'm trying to make this quick because we got to go into a lot of information. All right. Lamentation. and thumbers <laughs> you miss listen okay so lamentations 5 uh, 7 says our father sinned but died before the hand of judgment fell we have borne the blow that they deserved okay now we're gonna look at some examples Real brief, like, all right. The examples I want to go to is First Kings fifteen twenty six. Because we make the same mistakes, and also the Bible says uh, that we inherited lies from our forefathers as well. So I'm sorry. First Kings fifteen twenty six. Fifteen twenty six. It says uh, No no, we're gonna go to twenty five. However, over in Israel Nadab the son of Jeroboam had become king. He ruled two years, being in the second year of the reign of King Asa of Judah, but he was not a good king like his father. He worshiped many idols and led all of Israel in, into sin. Okay. Next king, second king. Go to second kings 13. 13 and 2. Second kings 13 and 2. Reads. No. Uh, 13. Joaz, the son of Jehu, began a 17-year reign over Israel during the 23rd year of the rule of King jo Joash of Judah. But he was an evil king, and he followed the wicked path of Jeroboam, who had caused Israel to sin. All right. Now let's go to uh, Second Ezra. 1.5 and that's in your 1611 edition going to 2nd Ezra 2nd Ezra alright uh, 1 5 2nd Ezra 1 5 1 5 2nd Ezra 1 5 it says go your way and show my people their sinful works and the children their wickedness which they have done against me that they may tell their children's children. Okay. And then we're going to go to 2 Chronicles 30 and 7. 2 Chronicles 30 and 7. I want to show y'all something. I know it's not all perfect, but I'm going to show y'all something. 30 and 7. 
30 and 7. It says, Do not be like your fathers and brothers who sinned against the Lord God of their fathers and were destroyed. Okay? We don't want to be like them. All right? We need to learn. We need to understand. All right? So now we're going to go to Ezekiel 18. Over to eight, Ezekiel 18, all right? 18, verse 2. 18 and 2. It says, Why do people use this proverb about the land of Israel? The children are punished for their father's sins. We're going to go to 5. Uh, as I live, says the Lord God, Ahiah, you will not use this proverb. You will not use this story, okay, anymore in Israel. For all souls are mine to judge, fathers and sons alike. And my rule is this. It is for a man's own sins that he will die, okay? All right. So for further edification, you will go to 18... Ezekiel 18, 6, and all the way down to 31. But we're going to stay on course. Going to Exodus 20. Hang with me, y'all. Exodus 20. Exodus 20. Um, 5. And six. So Exodus 20, 5 and 6. 5 is, it says, You must never bow to an image or worship it in any way. For I, the Lord your God, Ahiah, am, am very possessive. I will not share your affection, which is love, with any other God. Mm. That's good. And when, and when I punish people for their sins... The punishment continues upon the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren of those who hate me. Okay? So we went to five. All right? Now we're going to go to... Uh, no, we're going to read six, too. I'm sorry. But I lavish my, my love upon thousands of those who love me and obey my commandments. We know that, right? We keep his commandments. He, he loves that. All right? So we need to do what he loves, and that keeps it, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Those things that he ordained for us to keep. All right. Uh, we're going to Exodus 34. Hang with me. Exodus 34 and 7. Exodus 34 and 7 reads, I, Yahweh, show this steadfast love to to many thousands by forgiving their sins or else I refuse to clear the guilty and require the fa that of that a father's sin be punished in the sons and grandsons and even later generations okay maybe I'll read that again since I Jehovah in the Tyndale Bible I Ahia show this steadfast love to many thousands by forgiving their sins and or, or else I refuse to clear the guilty and require that a father's sin be punished in the sons and grand, grandsons and even later generations. Okay, that was Exodus 34 and 7. Now we're going to go to Numbers 14 and 18. Numbers 14 and 18. Let's get it. 14, 18, it says, Oh, please show the great power of your patience by forgiving our sins and showing us your steadfast love. Forgive us even though you have said that you don't let sin go unpunished and that you punish the father's fault in the children to the third and fourth generation. All right, that's numbers 14 and 18. Now we're going to go to... Uh, the Psalms 51 5 come with me Psalms 51 and 5 51 so 
Psalms 51, 5. But it says, but I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. All right. So now let's look at some further things right here. Well, now we're going to go to um, now we're going to go to Zechariah one and one and uh, one and four. Come with me. Come on with me, y'all. Hang in there. Hang in there with me, y'all. One, four. All right. One and four. All right. It says, don't be like your, your fathers were. The early prophets pled in vain and emptiness with them to turn, which means to change, from all their ways. Okay. Again, it says, don't be like your fathers were. The early... <clears throat> The early prophets begged in vain with them to turn from all their evil ways. Okay, now we're going. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to. We're going to go to six. It says, "Come, return to me." The Lord God said, "But no, <clears throat> but no, they wouldn't listen. They paid no attention at all. Your fathers and their prophets are now long dead. But remember the lesson they learned." That God's word endures. It caught up with them and punished them. Then at last they repented. At the end they asked for forgiveness. But we want to make sure that it ain't too late. So we better ask for forgiveness every day. And keep his laws and statutes and commandments. And bless the most high. So now we're going to go to John 8. Uh, 38. Hang on in there. John 8. 38. Let's go. 8. 38. It says, I'm telling you what I saw when I was with my father. But you are following the advice of your father. Okay. 39. Our father is Abraham. They declared, they announced that their father was Abraham. No, Yahweh Shah replied, for if he were you, I mean, if he were, <laughs> you would follow his good example, right? So we talk about generational curses and things like that. And uh, we all going to pay for our own sins. But we do have, we're linked if your your dad was a drinker, you could be a drinker, right? Uh, if you're glorifying uh, that you're you being a banger and this and that, your son gonna grow up be a banger. If you tell him that he gonna be a crip and you was a crip, he gonna be a crip, all right? If he's a player, he gonna be a player. So we gotta watch what we say out of our mouths, right? And and what we show our children, all right? We need to watch over our children. They are the world. And uh, the Most High loves his children. And we love them too. And we ask them for blessings and peace. But we got to understand that there are some curses that are still on, upon us. All right? Now, like I said, the, the, father, the son does what the father does. The daughter does what the, the, the mother does. So trying to show y'all a little bit of that it says uh our father is abraham they announced no jesus uh replied for if he were you would follow his good example but in place you are trying to kill me and all because i told you the truth i heard from god right you saying if y'all were of Abraham, y'all would treat me like Abraham did. You would do exactly like your father. We're going to find out who their father was. Alright? So, uh, John 8, uh, 40. But instead, you are trying to kill me. And all because I told you the truth, I heard from Ahiah, the Most High. Abraham wouldn't do a thing like that. No. You are obeying your real father when you act that way they replied we are not born out of wedlock our true father is god himself you hear that they don't even know him all right 
You know, everybody says, Lord, Lord, but they don't know him. Okay. So, um, let me, um, go to 41. I mean, uh, not 41. I'm sorry. Uh, 44. We're going to jump down to 44. Uh, for you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning and a hater of truth. There is not an iota of truth in him. When he lies, it is perfectly normal, for he is the father of liars. That's right. So then we're going to jump down to 47. All right. Anyone whose father is God listens gladly to the words of Ahia. All right. Again, any anyone whose father is God listens gladly to the words of God. Since you don't, it proves you aren't his children. OK. It's very important that we understand that there's two different seeds and nobody wants to be the seed of the devil. Okay, you can look at that in Genesis, right? He said, I'll put enmity between your seed and the serpent seed, but nobody wants to be uh, the devil's seed, okay? And we know that there's some left. Even Saul didn't do what he was supposed to do by killing off a certain family and a, and a bloodline that our father wanted done. He didn't do. Samuel was like, what is this noise I hear? He heard sheep and all the spoils and, and a king he kept alive. So when we don't do what, what we're supposed to do, now we got to deal with these demons. And we got to, and we will, by the Most High's power. Now we're going to Ezekiel 16.44. Hope y'all still with me. Whoever's looking at this video, stay with me. All right. I'm sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Boy. Ezekiel uh, 16, 44. I'm going to have to cut this twice. 16, 44 says, Like mother, like daughter, that is what everyone will say of you. Now let me grab this in, a, in, a, in the King James Version. All right. Let me grab this in the King James Version for y'all. Okay, because it's a little different. Ezekiel 16, 44. All right. Stupid flies and stuff, man. 16, 44. It says, Behold, everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is mother, so is daughter. Okay, we're going to read that again over here, though. Ezekiel 1644 in a Tynesdale, like mother, like daughter, that is what everyone will say to say of you. For your mother hateth her husband and her children, and you do, too. And you are exactly like your sisters, for they hate their husbands and their children. Truly, your mother must have been a Hittite and your father an, an Amorite. Okay. It's just showing you that that proverb will be used and it's being used today in 2017. All right. So I'm trying to show you that um, from yeah, Adam and Eve, we suffer from that and from our forefathers. OK, so we need to look at what they've done and not commit the same wicked mistakes. There were good kings in Israel. There were bad kings in Israel. There were kings that mimicked their father and made Israel to sin. We don't want to do the same thing. We don't want to influence Israel to sin. You supertars, you celebrities, y'all got a price to pay. And so does our normal selves that are mothers and fathers. We're going to have a price to pay if we don't... Uh, get our lives in order with the most high not with ourselves not this knowledge of ourselves no the knowledge of the most high um, Hosea 4 and 6 we die for a lack of knowledge um, what knowledge the knowledge of God I'm just uh, I'm paraphrasing but we need his knowledge in our 
bodies, okay? And our bodies is his temple. And it's urgent that y'all understand that. Now we're going to get into Reuben. So y'all might or should understand that I'm not saying that the generational curses, but um, we have power, right? With the Most High, we have power to break these things. We don't have to do these things, right? Just because my mom or dad was a drinker don't mean that I need to be a drinker. Uh, we need to observe, you know. Um, a smart man told me uh, uh, he was uh, in a family of 10 and he watched his uh, brothers and sisters get their butts whooped and all he had to do was do the right thing. He saw what they did. All he had to do was do the right thing. And uh, we need to observe what uh, the children of Israel did and what's going to happen in the latter times. And in days, a lot of Reuben's going to fall. A lot of each of the 12 tribes is going to fall because they're not going to be worshiping the true God and they're going to go against uh, some of our leaders and people that uh, like Levi and Judah that's going to uh, um, bring in the coming of Christ which is already going on throughout the earth the four corners of the, the earth we are going to have a chance to get to know them it's important that you get to know them I'm going to stop this video and, and uh, y'all check out the next one on uh, Reuben I'm going into this uh, dealing with the sin of the 12 uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. We're going to start with Reuben, the Seminole Indians, all right? All the way down, okay? Hey, God bless y'all. Shalom.